Hi everyone, it's Jillian. and welcome to my channel and another crochet tutorial. For today's tutorial, we're working on the sunflower coaster with the basket. This pattern is made up of very simple crochet stitches and to make the sunflower coaster, I use Crafter's Choice 100% cotton and I also use a 3.75 millimeter hook and that's just for the the sunflower portion. For the basket, I use the same yarn, but I switched to a 4.5 millimeter hook. It's a very simple pattern, very easy to make and fun, so let's get started. To begin, we're going to start by making the sunflower coaster, and we're going to start with our brown color. We're going to put a, we're going to make a magic ring. You're going to chain three and that chain three counts as a double crochet inside the magic ring you're going to make 11 more double crochets one two three four Five, eleven. 11 you're gonna pull your magic ring close and you're gonna join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three and that is the end of round one for round two you're gonna make a slip stitch in the space between the chain three and the double crochet on the left. So you're gonna make a slip stitch here. And you're gonna chain three. Into that same space where you made the slip stitch, you're gonna make a double crochet. So you now have two double crochets into that space. Walking into the next space between the double crochet, you're going to make two double crochets. And this is going to be a stitch repeat for round two. And you're going to repeat into the next space, you're going to make two double crochets. And repeat. Continue with this sequence of stitches and I will meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, you're going to place your last two double crochets in between the chain three and the double crochet on the right. You know, we're going to make a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And that's the end of round two, and you should have 24 double crochet stitches. For round three, we're working again into the spaces between the double crochet stitch, and you're going to do as you did in round two. You're going to slip stitch in the space between the chain three and the double crochet on the left. chain three and make a double crochet into the same space as the slip stitch into the next space you're going to make one double crochet into the next space you're going to make two double crochets one double crochet into the next space and you're going to repeat two double crochets into the next space one double crochet into the next and you're going to repeat this sequence of stitches until you get to the end of the round and I will meet you there
at the end of the round you're going to make one single crochet into the chain three and the double crochet on the right and you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the end of the round you should have 36 double crochets and that is the end of round three and you're going to fasten off here and you're going to be switching colors for the next round. For round four, you're going to start by making a slip stitch in any of the double crochet stitches. Chain three. And that chain three counts as your first double crochet stitch. Into that same stitch, you're gonna make a double crochet. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Into the next double crochet stitch, you're gonna make two double crochets. Chain six. You're now going to skip two stitches, one, two, and into the next stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. And this will be the start of your repeat for round four. Chain five, two, three, four, five. Into the next stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. You're going to start your repeat again by skipping two stitches, one, two, and two double crochet into the next. Chain five, five, and two double crochet into the next stitch. We're going to do one more repeat. You're going to skip two stitches, two double crochets into the next. Chain five, five, two double crochets into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that sequence of stitches all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the round, you're going to be left with two double crochet stitches. You're going to skip those and you're going to make a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And at the end of round four, you should have nine chain five spaces. For round five, walking into the first chain five space, you're going to make five double crochets. Three, four, five. To make you're gonna make a picot stitch, you're gonna chain three, and you can make your slip stitch into the first chain if you choose to, but I like to make my slip stitch here, and that's just a personal preference. Walking into the same chain five space, you're going to make five double crochets. Four. 
说。And five. You know, I'm going to be working into the space here between the two double crochets on the side, and you're going to make a slip stitch. And you're going to repeat working into the chain five space, you're going to make five double crochets. four five you're gonna make your picket by chaining three and you can slip stitch to the first chain and I slip stitch there walking into the same chain five you're gonna make five more double crochets Working into the space between the two double crochets, you're going to make a single crochet. And you're going to repeat that sequence all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the round, into the next space, you're going to make a slip stitch. And you're going to make a chain one and fasten off here, cut your yarn. gonna go ahead and make three more of these sunflowers and when we get back we're gonna make the basket to to put these in for the basket I switched to a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook you're gonna start by making a magic ring chain one Inside the magic ring, you're going to make six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to pull that magic ring close. And that is the end of round one for the basket. For round two, this pattern is working a spiral, so you're going to need something for, to use for a stitch marker. I'm just going to use a piece of scrap yarn. I'm just going to lay it in between the last stitch and the first stitch. And for round two, you're going to make two single crochets into each stitch around. And at the end of round two, you should have 12 single crochets. For round three, your stitch repeat is going to be one single crochet, 
in the next stitch and two single crochet in the next and you're going to repeat that all around until you get to the stitch marker so I'm just going to bring this forward one single crochet into the next stitch two single crochet into the next stitch and you're going to repeat one single crochet into the next two single crochet into the next and for each round you're going to be increasing by six and you're going to repeat that sequence to the end at the end of round three you should have 18 single crochets For round four, you're going to be increasing by making one single crochet into the next two stitches and two single crochet into the next. And that's going to be your stitch repeat all the way to the stitch marker. One single crochet into the next two stitches. Two single crochet into the next. And repeat one single crochet into the next two stitches two single crochet into the next repeat and I will meet you at the end of the row At the end of round four, you should have 24 single crochets. For round five, your stitch repeat, you're gonna make one single crochet into the next three stitches and two single crochet into the next. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around to the stitch marker. I'm gonna bring my stitch marker forward. One single crochet into the next three stitches. Two single crochet into the next and repeat one single crochet into the next three stitches and two single crochet into the next repeat this sequence all the way around and I'll meet you there At the end of round five, you should have 30 single crochets. For round six, your stitch repeat will be one single crochet into the next four stitches and two single crochet is into the next and that you're gonna take that all the way around to your stitch marker. One single crochet into the next four stitches. Two single crochet in the next stitch and repeat one single crochet into the next four stitches and two single crochets into the next and you're going to continue that sequence of stitches and I'll meet you at the end At the end of round six, you should have 36 single crochets. For round seven, you're gonna make one single crochet into the next five stitches and two single crochet into the next, and you're gonna take that all the way around to your stitch marker. One single crochet into the next five stitches. Three, 
four, five, and two single crochets into the next. And repeat one single crochet into the next five stitches. Three, four, five, and two single crochet into the next. Continue with this sequence of stitches and I will meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, you should have 42 double crochets. For round eight, you're gonna make a single crochet into the back loop of each stitch around. And the back loop is gonna be the loop furthest away from you and the front loop is the loop that's closest to you. And you're just gonna repeat this in every stitch. Continue with this sequence and I will meet you at the end of the round. At the end of round eight, you should have 42 single crochets. For the next six rounds, rounds 9 to 14, you're going to make a single crochet into each stitch around and this time you're going to be working through both loops. Continue making single crochets for the next six rounds and I'll meet you back here at the end of round 14 to begin round 15. And you've come to the end of round 14 and you can see our basket has taken shape at the end of round 14, you're not going to finish the last stitch. You're going to drop the yarn that you're working with and you're going to add your new color. Working into the next stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. You're now going to skip two stitches, one, two, and into the next stitch, you're going to make four double crochets. Three, four. You know, I'm going to make a picot, you're going to chain three. And as mentioned before, you can slip stitch into the first chain or a slip stitch here, which is what I usually do, because I find it to be a little bit more stable. And you're gonna make a slip stitch. And walking into that same stitch, you're gonna make four more double crochets. three and four and just like we did with the sunflower instead of five double crochets here we only made four and then the p cut and four to continue you're gonna skip two stitches one two and a single crochet into the next and you're gonna repeat 
skip two stitches one two and four double crochets into the next stitch You're going to chain three and make your picot stitch. And make four more double crochets into the same stitch. We're going to do one more repeat. You're going to skip two stitches, one, two, single crochet into the next stitch. Skip two, one, two, and four double crochets into the next. Chain three and make your picot and make four more double crochets into the same stitch. And you're going to repeat the sequence of stitches all the way around and I will meet you there. At the end, you're going to have one stitch left here. You're going to skip that stitch and make a slip stitch into the next stitch. And that's the end of the round and you're going to cut your yarn and you're going to sew in your ends And that's the end of the tutorial for the basket and you can now go ahead and start adding your sunflower to it. <laughs> 